Sup, Mama Bros. I bring today sad news. Tachiyomi, a well-loved open source application used to read manga, manga, and comics is under fire by Kakao Entertainment Corp and has forced the developers of the application to cease improving and updating the software to avoid legal reprimands, which is quite sad since Tachiyomi's last update was my favorite with new UI. They give it this fresh modern look, join it. And I feel like the quality of the manga that I've been reading on it has been much cleaner lately. So pretty sad that they've been forced to shut down development because of Kakao Entertainment. Anyway, since it is open source, new people are coming up, take it over and keep it alive, but nothing concrete yet. Anyway, my plan to continue reading manga is if it fully shuts down is to uh, use the source extensions there's a lot of them and you use Annulist to keep track of them that way. There's a cool extension on Google on uh, Google extensions called MouseSync. So it's a good way to keep track of stuff. Uh, it hovers on the browser. That's what I plan on using, but that only was one of my favorite ways to read manga. And it's because of it, I'm able to keep track of so many. Can't imagine not reading manga without it, but the last update it had was quite strong, so I feel like it's gonna last quite a while till the next Android update, so maybe like a year or so. I'll pr pretty much use it till it just stops working in general. I just can't read anything, but I feel like that only is pretty strong even without the latest update, so I feel like it's got like three or four years in, in, in them to keep running without any support. The developers made a pretty robust application. Usually the issues I have is on the server side. It's from the source itself, Asura scans and all those ones. It's usually on their end that I have issues. Not with Tachiyomi itself, but it's pretty weird that they're on the flyer because they're not, they don't even have anything. They're, they're just the linker, the link to everything. They're like a scrape. It's like a tool. It's not, they're not, they don't have any uh, manga within their application that to just link to places that have it. So it's weird, it's like a tool you use, like a calculator or something. This calculator is for anime. So I find it quite weird that they were the ones to get shut down by all the Rampage, Kakao and all these Japan companies are doing right now. But anyway, that's it for my one use.